I can't go crazy because Chad won't let me. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. This is my first vlog post vlogmas. I took the last few days off and it has been so nice. After having to post a video every single day and then finally just being able to take a little break. So it's been really nice, but I am back again and I'm excited to be vlogging again. Chad and I actually took our outdoor Christmas lights down, our tree down, all of our decorations, put everything up in the attic and cleaned all morning. So it is very late morning when I'm starting this because we've just been getting rid of all of our Christmas stuff which is sad but I don't like to look at it after the holidays over because then I'm just like I don't know I'm just over it once it's over it's over I got the dry bar hair dryer that I wanted so badly for Christmas this year and I'm actually about to use it I just took a shower my hair is wet and I'm really excited to try out this hair dryer and my favorite part is this blowout hairbrush that it came with so I can't wait to use that I don't think I'm gonna use the rollers yet I'm gonna have to play around with that and figure out how to do it but it also comes with a finishing spray Wow, this is like a really heavy duty cord right here. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, you guys. This is the full size buttercup hair dryer. I will link it in the description. I have no idea um, about the set though. I don't know if we can find that anywhere, but I will link the hair dryer. This brush is so cool. I love how everything matches and how cool that it came with a full size bottle of triple sec. Like this stuff is so good and expensive. <laughs> drying my hair and I've never been able to blow dry my hair that fast in my life I know that my hair always just like takes forever to dry it literally holds moisture like no other but I'm starting to think that part of that is because I never actually purchased a nice hair dryer in my life I always just use this cheap Conair one that I've literally had forever so this is amazing I can't believe how quickly it dried my hair and I'm not like the best at the whole like process of doing a blowout where you like roll this around and run it through um, but I love this brush. It worked really well and I think something about the tip of this It's like ridged to fit into the brush I'm assuming because it fits really nicely when you're like running it through your hair So that's amazing I also didn't end up with a big tangly mess of hair because of this brush just being able to like brush it through while I'm blow drying it it was really really nice so i'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit and learn how to give myself a true blowout and like use the rollers and everything because i think that'd be fun but for now i'm just gonna run the flat iron through my hair to take out this frizz well i finally got dressed at noon and i'm sitting here reading the really sweet comments on my video and by the time you guys see this you will already know about my big announcement and the comments are so sweet and I can't thank you guys enough for your support. I'm literally so excited for this. You have no idea how hard I've been working on this and I really hope that you guys are excited too. Well, it's much later now and I'm in the car with Chad. We actually just got to Publix. We're gonna go in and do our grocery shopping for the week. We actually only have to get a couple of things. Give me a really quick trip. <laughs> It's so much later guys. Nothing really happened. I came home and I just worked on some stuff at the house for a while And then all of a sudden it was almost six and now we're about to start making dinner But I have to show you guys these drinks that I got at Publix. They're so good. They're spiked Arnold Palmer's and I literally love like iced tea and lemonade and when my sister was here She got me like a lemonade flavored vodka and I mixed it with sweet tea and it was amazing So I'm like really into sweet tea and lemonade and then I found this at Publix so highly recommend this it's really good and I really like that even though it's in like one of these slim cans it's not carbonated so sometimes I love carbonated drinks in fact most of the time I do but they do make me feel kind of bloated this right here 
no carbonation it's straight up tea and lemonade and it's spiked and you can't even tell that it's spiked here's what the box looks like and i'm going to have another one chad is starting dinner now and i am practicing my hand lettering and i don't think i told you guys in my announcement that i am also selling these uh, hand lettering practice sheets so if you're interested in learning hand lettering like i am trying to learn this year uh, these practice sheets are like the perfect way to start. They're all lowercase and it's five pages and they're designed to work in Procreate. So you can just pull them up in Procreate and then just create a second layer and then voila, practice your hand lettering. It looks like, like it might be easy, but um, it's pretty difficult. It's easy when you're tracing. Like see that, that doesn't look good. Let's do that again. It's like a real art learning this. And it's one of my goals for 2021 is to learn hand lettering. So I'm gonna be practicing this like crazy, which is why I decided to come up with my own sheets. And this is my own style of hand lettering, um, obviously inspired by like traditional bubbly digital hand lettering, calligraphy or whatever. Um, but I did design these myself with my own like personal touch, these letters. And so that's why I made these practice sheets. And here they all are so you just pull it up and then you just create a new layer and these will all be available when seven design co goes live which is this friday january 1st 2021 so get ready to learn some hand lettering with me if you guys are interested chad's really upset because apparently the office is about to be gone from netflix which we knew this was coming for a long time but apparently it's actually about to happen how much more time do we have to watch the office three days he has the last day show. is December 31st. We got some toasty, tasty, <laughs> tasty and toasty looking salmon and Brussels sprouts. We finished eating dinner and we are about to play our first game of chess on our new chess board. Chad's mom got this as a gift for Chad for Christmas and it is so freaking nice. Um, this was made in Spain, I believe, and it's like a really, really, really nice board. It's, um, what do you call this? It's not oak. Is it oak? I thought it was maple. Maple, yes, it is maple. This is like really, really nice. And this is like way bigger board than our other one. As, as you can see, it's like really huge. I think it's 17 inches. 19 and a half, oh, I believe. 19 and a half, that is crazy. Um, and these like nice weighted chess pieces. So we're like official chess players. So it's about to get serious. First game, Chad won. Not happy about it. I let him win, honestly, because I it's his new board and I wanted him to like feel good about it. So I thought maybe if he won, he'd be really happy about the new board. His mom actually paid me to let him win the first one. So thanks, cha-ching. <laughs> keep winning and keep getting 100 bucks and just with it. Good morning guys, it's the next day now. Chad and I are heading to go run some errands and I look so pale. I just can't wait to self tan again. I've been really slacking in the self tan department, and now that I have this darker hair, I feel like it makes me look even more pale. <laughs> First world problems. We are going into Bell's because we have to get Chad's parents their birthday gift. We already got them their main birthday gift, but we have to get them um, like a couple other things. We're gonna see if we can find them both a gator shirt. Obviously, his whole family is gator fans. So. Wish us luck. Into Bells we go. And I also just realized there's a TJ Maxx down there, which is perfect, because I'm looking for a yoga mat. It was really nice. Let's get that for you. Too, you will look really good in like this, that blue color. That's a really good price. It's the front of the bag. It's the bag. Oh, so it's one? plain in the, let me see what the front looks like. Yeah, that's really nice. I almost feel like I'd rather that color than this. I think this is, Super bright. Not what we were looking for, but Chad just managed to find two shirts. Oh, no, this is a different shirt. Is that the same shirt you were wearing yesterday? Who's asking? <laughs> Me. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at this. Yeah, right I see Florida State shirts, so there must be Gator shirts nearby. That's usually how it works. And they're 50% off. 
I just scored. Okay. What do we think for Chad's dad? Probably short sleeve. Oh, this is so nice. This is such a tote bag. Oh, that's kind of cute. How much? I think his mom would really like this bag. Which ones are those? The ones with the oh. cushion and a bottle opener. Chad's looking for flip flops and they happen to be buy one get one 50% off. So I'm gonna buy a pair as well and get these reef ones. They're just like really simple little flip flops. I like the braided straps. Honestly, I just need a pair of plain black flip flops for when I start going to my yoga classes again because you just need something quick to like slip off since you do your yoga barefoot and this is perfect. We're looking for the women's stuff. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's so nice, but I do not need it. The Wendy's. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't seen around here. Well, we finished at Bell's. We also stopped into TJ Maxx and I didn't find my yoga mat that I'm looking for. So I'm very particular. I only want the Jade yoga mat. You guys know I've told you guys that's like my favorite yoga mat. But um, when I originally got my first one, they sell it at um, Yoga Lab, but I found it for 50 bucks at TJ Maxx. This was a long time ago, so I figured I would check. And then maybe I'll also check Marshall's when we go to Marshall's. Because I'm really hoping I'll be able to find it for cheaper, but we'll see. But now we're really quick gonna run into Hobby Lobby and get their 50% off or whatever the sale is for their Christmas wrapping paper because the best time to buy Christmas wrapping paper is the year before when it goes on sale. And Hobby Lobby has the best Christmas wrapping paper or wrapping paper in general. It's actually just so thick. It's not cheap, it's the best. I usually like to go a little crazy when I go into Hobby Lobby, but I won't be able to because- uh, It's called Hobby Lobby. No, it's not. No, it's not. I can't go crazy because Chad won't let me. It's a problem when you go shopping with your man. He doesn't let you look at anything. We just found all these really cute Jeep signs and Chad's dad has a Jeep and is like super into everything Jeep related. How do they get off of these prices? Well, how much are they? 20 bucks? But it's probably on sale, 50% off. Boom, 10 bucks. Well, we got a bunch of wrapping paper. I didn't get to look at anything and I'm not happy about it. Chad said I couldn't look at anything. Stupid. We have three more stops to make. It's already 12.15. We did get a little Jeep sign for his dad. It's really cute. We're on our way to Starbucks now and I'm trying to figure out what I want to order. And I'm struggling because I just don't want my regular iced coffee. I just, I don't know, it doesn't sound good right now. We gotta hit up the semi-annual sale. So excited. Got a peach bellini. Got a watermelon lemonade. Trying to stay away from the holiday ones because obviously that's over with. So I got those two. Oh, I love this one. Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Just got out of Bath and Body Works and our last stop of the day is Costco to put gas in my car and get steaks tonight. We're going to Chad's parents' house for dinner tonight. We're celebrating both of his parents' birthday, which happens to be literally right after Christmas every year. So it's like Christmas and then both of their birthdays. Um, so his mom's birthday is today and his dad's is on the first. I wanna show you guys the hand sanitizer that I got just to keep in my car at Bath and Body Works. They sell these like big ones now, which is so nice. It's definitely a result of COVID, but really nice. So I got cucumber and lily hand sanitizer to keep in my car. I'm very excited. And then I also got some candles and some hand soaps. And I'll show you guys which ones that I picked out when we get to have them. And it was all 50%. We're back home finally. I literally feel like we've just been out all freaking day. So happy to be home, even though we're gonna be leaving again in a few hours. But this is a little sign that we got for Chad's dad. And then we got his mom this really cute gator shirt. And then his dad this cute gator shirt. It's part of their birthday gift. And then I'll show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works from their semi-annual sale. We got peach bellini, watermelon lemonade, and aloha kiwi passion fruit for candles. And then I got these two for the kitchen. We have purely clean cucumber and kitchen mandarin. And then I got a stress relief for the bathroom and then peach bellini maybe for like the guest bathroom. That's what I got from the semi-annual sale. Now I've got to wrap their birthday presents up. And I also have to wrap this giant thing. We got them this ninja food grill thing because it's something that they had wanted for a while. And we actually got this back on Black Friday and didn't tell them it's actually for a birthday gift to both of them.
So I'm wrapping Chad's dad's Christmas presents in this wrapping paper and then his mom's presents in this wrapping paper. But I'm literally out of both. I have like a little bit left of this one and I have a little bit left of this one. And since this gift is to both of them, Chad said we'll just wrap it half and half. And it's gonna look so goofy, but I'm gonna do it. Well, here's the final product. This is literally so embarrassing, but I honestly think Chad's dad is going to appreciate that I worked so hard to wrap this with birthday wrapping paper because I didn't want to just combine their birthdays with Christmas and use Christmas paper. So I used what I had left and it's literally half and half. And then I had like a little section right here that <laughs> was uncovered because I ran out. And so I just used a little piece of this Christmas wrapping paper. It's just like a random snowman right there. This is hilarious. I honestly think his dad is just gonna find this to be so funny. Well, I'm gonna go change and start getting ready because we're leaving in literally 30 minutes to go to his parents' house for dinner tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And if you guys haven't checked out the 7 Design Co. social media, go check it out. I will have the link in the description and that way you guys can stay tuned. We are launching on Friday, January 1st. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.